Hey everybody, look on the screen. This is um, a video of the 12 year old accused of killing his mother. Okay, uh, this is going to be part A. And then please stick around for part B, the commentary in a separate video. Wow. The father has shown up. And he wants the 12 year old tried in juvenile court. Was the prosecutor the one to try this kid um, based on what he's done, obviously, uh, as an adult? This is part A. Stick around for part B, the commentary. And here we go, people. Father of a 12 year old boy charged with homicide does not want his son to be tried as an adult. Prosecutors say the boy was 10 years old when he shot his mother over a video game. Aaron may be joining us live with day two of the hearing now. Aaron. <sighs> Well, Mary, that 12-year-old boy's father drove up from Illinois to testify with the defense. He wants his son's trial to go through the juvenile justice system. That's what the defense wants, too, so he can get the rehabilitation they say he needs. But prosecutors are not budging. I think he should be prosecuted in children's court. The father of the 12-year-old boy charged with first-degree intentional homicide takes the stand. Prosecutors say the boy, who we're not naming because of his age, killed his own mother in November 2022. Even with us talking, he has yet to say anything in regards to his mother. The boy is charged as an adult. His attorneys are working to move the case to the juvenile system for what they call the best mental health treatment. Earlier in the day, a psychologist talked about treatment access in the state, including residential treatment centers. So they give kids access to certain activities. They give them opportunities to form relationships. They give them opportunities to pursue interests. To give them opportunities to be successful. Prosecutors say the boy was 10 when he shot and killed his mom in their Milwaukee home. Yeah. A criminal complaint says the boy was upset with his mom for waking him up early and not buying him a virtual reality headset. Prosecutors are pushing for him to be in adult court. We should not be trying to find punishment for a child. We're trying to do whatever we can to uh, give rehabilitation for that child. And that just goes for any kid no matter their age, race, or anything, just a kid, period. It was a long day of court, but throughout this entire hearing, that 12-year-old boy basically read a book the whole time as attorneys around him battled for his next chapter. The reverse waiver hearing will continue April 29th and April 30th. We're live in Milwaukee. Okay, everybody, it's all part A. Please stick around for part B, the commentary.